so many people that we've spoken to say, look, it's just an excuse to sell off, just as Professor Siegel was saying, we had gotten perhaps a little bit frothy. Why, though, does the market sell off on these things if so often we know that they are short term? Well, I think what people are trying to understand is what is transitory and what is a permanent impact. So a transitory impact is something you're going to get back. So if a company is going to buy a piece of equipment, if they can't buy today, they're likely going to buy tomorrow because they're going to meet that future demand. That said, there are things that may be lost. For example, around the Chinese holidays, if individuals aren't traveling, they're going to lose restaurant sales. They're going to lose uh, sales at other gaming, lodging, and leisure companies. So those, those are more permanent impacts. So I think investors are trying to understand what is transitory and what is permanent. And that's why you see the market take a pause like this. The good news is things appear to be on a solid footing. And so then as a follow-up to that, Mr. Palfrey, would you say that some of those things that are effectively lost, mm -hmm. like a trip to a casino or travel, there's reason for a pullback in those stocks, and investors should remain cautious there. Well, I, I think it's unfortunate to lose that sale. The question is, does it ultimately damage the story of those companies? I think people need to take time and understand, is this going to be an impact that lasts uh, a couple days or a few weeks, or is this something that's going to be a prolonged period of time? And I think it gives investors time to understand the gravity of the situation, how uh, to the extent the spread is happening, and where that impact can be delineated as sort of a next week or a next month activity. Patrick Shavonik, as you look at this market today and see at least early indications that we're going to gain back some of what we lost yesterday, what's your best advice for investors that might have seen that sell-off yesterday and w wake up a little bit nervous about today? Well, my advice um, going into this year was don't get too cocky because there was a buoyancy to this market that uh, uh, really wasn't that justified by the pace of the economy. You know, we're going to see GDP numbers uh, Thursday of this week. The suggestions, the indications are that it will probably come in for the fourth quarter below 2 percent. Um, that's not terrible, but it's not terribly impressive. And the market was sort of behaving as though we're on the verge of a rebound, uh, everything's going to be fine. And things like this virus, um, I think that they're a catalyst to cause people to take another look and say, uh, what are the downsides as well as the upsides? And I think that's what we're seeing here. And so, Patrick Shavonik, as you're looking at your portfolio positioning today, we have a very big week of earnings here to come. We also have some economic data points out today as well. What would you tell investors about what to do here? Should they remain defensive? We've seen the utility sector have the strongest performance so far. Is that where you should turn here? Well, obviously, investors are going to have to think about anything that has exposure to China, in particular, not, not just Chinese spending, but supply chains, global supply chains. I was talking to somebody, a uh, friend of mine in the pharmaceutical industry uh, yesterday, and he was saying that U.S. pharma companies, they rely on Chinese suppliers for basic chemicals. And they had already factored in um, the, the usual interruption caused by Chinese New Year, but that uh, if these closures, if, the, if these business closures, if these uh, transportation bans continued for more than a week or so, you could be seeing shortages in those areas. So I think that, you know, without getting into hysteria, people need to be thinking practically about what kind of economic dislocations, at least in the short term, this is likely to cause. Got it. Patrick Palfrey, we have to go here, but quickly, I'm hoping you can give us a couple good ideas for investors here today. Well, I, I would say with technology earnings on the horizon, focus on that group. There, we expect earnings to significantly accelerate from what we saw in 2019, and 2020 should be even better. So technology is a really a place to focus on.